welcome back to another tutorial video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, um, but I've been needing to do more. Um, you guys really enjoy being able to learn more about 5M and really stuff that's not out there very much. Um, so basically what I have done is I have a fresh server right here. Um, completely no scripts, nothing. It's just basic server. And what we're going to be going over is just literally how to set up a 5M server with Zap hosting and to get everything set up. So let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off, you're going to have, of course, your IP address. This is how you're going to connect to the server. So this is what you put in Direct Connect. This is all that fun stuff. So you will make sure that you have this. And it will always be up here. Just make sure you have that saved so that we don't ever have to go back in here about a thousand times. Um, this one's on Linux. Uh, Zap Hosting's Linux servers are a lot more stable than their Windows, so that's the reason I chose that. But whatever, if you have Windows, there's no big deal. Alrighty, so down here, it kind of has your um, status of your server, online, offline. It's offline, of course, right now. There's nothing on it. Location of it, IP port again, all this fun stuff, how many people are on. This stuff, I mean, it's just kind of for your own personal usage to look at. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, up here, you have... Um, if you're interested in actually changing the name and everything, you'll go to settings. So settings will have literally everything um, for your server. Never mind loads. Um, there we go. Uh, it has everything for your server. For some reason, my internet's being whacked today. But if you wanted to reinstall it, reset all options, everything. It's just named Zap Hosting right now uh, until we get it all set up. And all that fun stuff. Um, admins for basically everything. You put your Steam ID 64 there. And literally, you have admin access to anything that you add to the server. Um, all this stuff. Optional script hook, yes or no. Script hooked basically allows you to like do client-side uh, menus like the uh, Lamboda menu. Something like that. And the uh, Simple Trainer. All that type of stuff. Server side is more like the V menu, and a few other ones. I usually leave it on no though, because if you have client side ones, they can easily be exploited. It kind of can screw up your server. Server tags. So this is just kind of what appears on your server, um, and all that fun stuff. If you, ha you know, if someone say you put uh, English here, then and then you would comma or comma and then. Basically, what you would do is, and if you saved it, then if someone went and they went into the English uh, tags section, they checkmarked the English tag section, then they will um, automatically, or not automatically, but your server will be in that server list. It might not be at the top, but it will be somewhere in that server list. Basically, what that is. So you can add, like, English, RP, roleplay, roleplay... TA, I mean, whatever you really wanted to add, it's honestly up to you. It is no big deal. It's literally whatever you want. Alrighty, so um, after server tags, you have game type. This is, yeah, so there's not really much that you need to change here. Enable one sync. Um, you're able to have it or not. One sync is kind of whack, to be honest. Um, in my experience with using it, I've had. A lot of issues with it, but it, if you have a um, higher amount of people in your server, so say yeah, I have anything over 32 slots, then yeah, it's automatically active for the reason of it will um, try to sync everything in one. But if you have a small server, there, it's a lot better deactivated from my experience. Um, the recon passwords, basically the password that you're going to be using... Um, to get into um, a few things that we'll talk about later. So that's something that you need to keep private. Um, I haven't really had a need to use this, so it's no big deal. Um, we'll go over all these if installed sections in a little bit. And then down here you have your game ports, your custom slots, 
Um, basically, you don't need to change anything here unless it's a custom license, license key. And basically what that is for is if you have um, EUP or anything like that, if you have your um, custom license key from, uh, you know, actual like 5M, uh, the key creator, because you have EUP um, donation rights and stuff. So anything that you change, you can just press save. It'll, get, it'll save everything. It take a second because my Wi-Fi is being garbage today. And yeah, so that's everything. We'll go ahead and just change this to um, McQuinney's tests, not text, test server. And then we'll go ahead and save it. So now the server will be named McQuinney's text server whenever it comes up in the um, in actual 5M. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'll look into that in a second. I think, yeah, I don't know why that didn't save. Test server, save. Oh, that's why. God dang it. Wait, it's test server without the colon. I don't know why you can't have colons. Er, I can't even think, dude. It's so late. Um, doing this way late at night, trying to get it, you know, get it done with. I've been needing to do this for a while, so yeah. Alrighty, so uh, we're just at settings now. Configs has like your configuration files. Now, if you install like the V menu or maybe some other add ons that you can configure uh, with Zap Hosting, this will be the place to have it. We'll come back to this whenever we do like V menu explanations and stuff. This is just kind of like a broad explanation of Zap Hosting and what you can really need to use from it. Um, your server.cfg, you can just open that there has all this info, you're like, what the fuck, probably, you're like, well, how the hell am I supposed to know what to do? Once again, we'll go over all that um, in the future whenever we, uh, you know, add scripts and do other things in different videos. Uh, the next one below that is games. There's nothing really uh, to do here other than just, you know, it's just kind of the games that you have. So that's pretty useless for your uh, server. Unless you're wanting to change something. Uh, the next one that we have is um, versions. So if you wanted to update your game version um, or de downgrade it, if you really wanted to, you can. So we can change game version, reinstall, change now this is loading. Yep, drop down. So I have the most recent one installed, but you can go all the way down to 18.6.8 .8 if you absolutely wanted to. So yes. Um... Going down one more, you have resources. Um, the resources folder is what Zap, what the plugins that Zap Hosting, uh, you know, can give you to configure, or not all to configure, but you know, some can, can be configured. This is basically the only the stuff that they give you. Uh, MySQL async. Um, I've literally seen no reason not to have this. It's pretty useful for the server. Essential mode. Uh, it just works with MySQL async to do um, admin stuff and other stuff. Um, Dunko's VRP pack, that's more like an economy-based pack thing. Majiggy, I'm not really big into economy-based, but that's an option if you wanted it. Uh, easy admin, just another admin thing. vMenu, always useful. Um, almost every server nowadays, uh, including the big ones like DOJ and OCRP and stuff. Uh, all include this V menu. This is the server sided menu that is, um, yeah, with like every server uses it. It's very, very nice. Uh, the traffic adjuster is really useful if you have a lot of scripts or a large amount of people in your server um, above that max mark. It is very useful. Um, what it does is it, g it gives you the ability in the configuration file area uh, to adjust how many like walking pads and how many um, driving pads and stuff so you can change the amount of AI that's in the game to make your game not lag as much not do a stupid shit and all that fun stuff um, the ESX fooled pack ESX is very popular it is um, economy based very big um, a lot of servers use it it's pretty much standalone like I have it in SADPC 
Um, and, you know, DOJ and all them have it. Well, DOJ has their own economy-based thing, but, and so does OCRP. They kind of have their own thing. But in SADPC, I know SADPS does it. Um, those type of servers were standalone, so we don't have any sort of, like, economy-based or uh, server-based pack like this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, customization that you can do with ESX, though, with jobs and scripts and stuff. There's a ton of it. So if you're interested in economy-based, that is something to check out. I won't be doing a whole lot of economy-based um, tutorials on this channel, seeing as I really just have not done a whole lot of ESX stuff. Uh, this is PvP-enabled. This is 100%, in my opinion, required, because for some reason, 5M base game does not allow you to kill other people, um, which is weird. I don't really understand that, but that is 100% useful, and there's no reason not to have it. Uh, same thing for this one, fix holes in map, basically base game 5M, um, where every place that would have like the chicken plant interior, uh, gas stations, all that type stuff, uh, is literally just a gray hole. Simeons, um, everything's just a gray hole in the ground. Uh, you walk into it and you just fall through the earth and then <laughs> teleport to the top again. Uh, this allows you to actually have interiors to it. Uh, nucleus plugins, just extra admin type stuff. Again, chat log, settings, all that. And the whitelist, this is a Steam ID 64 whitelist. If you're a whitelisted server that wants to use Steam ID 64s, um, then yeah, this is the one for you. Alrighty, um, moving on down to FTP browser. This is where you're going to, you know, learn how to add your files and stuff. Uh, like if you. Um, use FileZilla, whatnot. You're going to add files to your server. This is kind of how you would do it. This is your host um, or, or IP or wherever you put it. Um, host IP. I'll go ahead and open up FileZilla just to kind of show you here. FileZilla. So if you're opening up FileZilla, then it will kind of look like this. I'm trying to make it a little bit smaller so that way. So at the top left, you'll see all of these. Um, and if you go to FTP browser, your host is this. Uh, port is 21 or whatever yours is. Username is usually just your account name, like mine's Bukwani. And the password is what is um, right here. You'll click this little I, and that's where you put the password. We'll go over more to do with FileZilla whenever um, I actually you know, make a tutorial about it. But for now... That is pretty much it for um, that section. Um, under the uh, databases section, this is where you do stuff, um, specific scripts such as 5PD, stuff like that. You can add to here, uh, passwords again. Usually, though, you will kind of um, do that. Well, I'll create a tutorial on 5PD probably in the future. No promises, though. Yeah, it's just kind of like, you know, you'll create it and go on with what needs to be done. Because uh, you'll create a database, connect it to your 5M server. That's how 5PD works. Um, backups basically just allows you to back up your story or your server in case um, anything goes wrong, uh, in case we have any problems or anything. I think it's useful to do. I haven't done it yet because this is a new server, but yeah. All right, so that is basically it for a brand new 5M server. Uh, like I said, um, I went through kind of all the basic stuff. All the other tabs that I didn't go through are pretty useless, like um, all this stuff, nucleus, messages. That stuff is pretty useless for what you need to know as far as base server stuff goes. But yeah, so server name all that fun stuff, and I hope you guys enjoy this just a quick kind of tutorial about how to um, get your 5M server base set up on Zap Hosting, kind of explains to you what each thing is, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing more descriptive ones, of course, on different um, things in 5M, such as text boxes, text chats, um, Basically all types of stuff, scripts, to cars, to everything, liveries, I'll be doing it all. And I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys.